the big story um the past seven days has been about hugh edwards and the improper conduct the, the allegations of improper conduct now now some of the heat has i suppose some of the heat has been um taken away with all this there's other things go, uh, stories out there allegations when it comes to dan wooten uh, the the uh, gbu's host but with the stuff with hugh edwards um it's uh, i mean there's people are i'm noticing now that people are kind of split on this you've got many people that are saying well you know it's very dodgy it's you know okay it might not be all um you know it might have not been illegal anything that he did and um, but then that's still debatable but um you know what basically what happened the son was right to report it and you know basically with the stuff with him now and Hospital for deep depression, severe depression, mental health issues. It's well, you know, no sympathy. You know, he's playing the mental health card. Health card. He brought this on himself. And then you have the other people, many people probably on the left, are rushing to the defense of Hugh Edwards, and they're saying, "Oh, you know, you know, he didn't do anything illegal." All these mean people who are coming from. Um, so you got the people that, and then just people, quite simply, that are doing, you know, work for in the media, and you know, maybe you've, they've. For the most part got got along with you edwards over the years so they're going to tr try and you know have his back um but then again many people point out if that's somebody on the right if that's like a gbu's presenter and he's been exposed doing things like that they're they're all gonna they're all gunning for him and you you could you could use J dan wooten as an as an example on that but um, i've got my own taking dan wooten and i plan on doing another uh, I, I plan on doing a video on dan wooten uh, very soon though very shortly um but I uploaded a video yesterday about, uh, and it was to do with the uh, writer Charlie Brooker, and he had, pre uh, well, I said, he, you know, he predicted that with this, that the Hugh Edwards scandal back in uh, 2006 with the with the joke about something about, oh, we you know we're desensit, we're, we're so desensitized to nudge wink sexual imagery, you know, funny how he's saying that in 2006. See how things bad are now with you know your Sam, Sam Smiths of the world and people like that. But, you know, but he was saying about to do with being the, 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 the nudge wink sexual imagery that we wouldn't be surprised if Hugh Edwards was to have gotten his arse out on, on the use. <laughs> and funnily enough, a year before on the BBC sitcom The Thick of It, you see here uh, the character Malcolm Tucker, who was played by the actor Peter Capaldi, the Scottish actor Peter Capaldi, on the show The Thick of It. And... So Malcolm Tucker, the character, he is the director of communications for his party and both government and, 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 and the opposition as well. Um, so this character is basically very much kind of like, very similar, it was based on um, uh, Alistair Campbell, the guy who, who when Tony Blair was uh, uh, prime minister, he was you know, kind of like known as like, you know, the uh, you know the spin doctor, if you will. Um, and the, the, the Peter Capaldi's character made this uh, comment in and and name and drops name drops Hugh Edwards in this and so he says this guy's very temperamental guy he's really got a temper he's always um he's always shouting and rave, ranting and sweating sweating at someone uh, and he's on the phone with someone and he and he's and he says um no I don't think they will run with it because it's libelous that's just as libelous as the Hugh Edwards rumor <laughs> and this was back in two thousand and five. So this, to me, comes to my point of, you know, you know, I was kind of kidding around about you know, predictive pro programming yesterday. But to me, though, when they're dropping him in like that, the name, I mean, you could just say, well, because, you know, Hugh Edwards is a very prominent figure. So, oh, you know, figure we'll just name drop him in. And it's just a little humorous little kind of thing. And there's nothing to it, right, basically. But I get the feeling that because this is like this, basically this... You know, the, the comment made in the thick of it, and then the thing that Charlie Booker didn't scream wipe, they're only one year apart. You could say you could put that down to a coincidence, or you could put it down to that the people who make these programs, the people in that world, in that um, television media bubble, they, they knew exactly what Hugh Edwards was like. They knew what his true nature, his true character was like. Um, you know, there's allegations there when it comes to harassment of, of staff on the bbc 
and, and and more there more stuff there with improper conduct and, and the, all the different allegations when you're talking to somebody as young as 17 there's people young there as 20 and this is a guy this is you know married man and he was caught in a dating app um and it's, it's amazing how all the people that are rushing to defend Hugh Edwards overlook all these little things right but you see how they try and control the narrative and they just rush out to defend him and you know okay okay you don't want to necessarily you know you might want to be a bit empathetic and not have the knives out on on someone so to speak but at the same time i always feel like look if someone you know that you like and you, you maybe pally with once and they've done something real wrong and they've done something bad and it's fucked up you know you don't have to come out and condemn them but if you're not gonna if you're basically you should just keep quiet though is what i'm saying don't don't try and go out your way to have their back because you're just it's, it's gonna end up coming off Someone's going to call you out for being a hypocrite, you know. People who use their mi- use their minds, or it just it won't sit well with people who use you use, use their minds, you know. Um, I'm not being all high and mighty, but you know, I I can see the, the hypocrisy for what it really is. But but that's my, I mean, my personally, my take on it is that people use something, and it was a little kind of like ha ha in joke. A lot of these things on TV shows, that's what they do. They do things like that on Family Guy. They do that on Family Guy all the time, do they? About things. And these people that are doing these shows and the guy, Seth MacFarlane, you know, the creator. I mean, these people are in the know, right? They were in the know about the whole uh, Bruce Jenner wanting to be Caitlyn Jenner. That was probably that he was wanting to be a woman. I imagine that was probably an open secret in the in, in, in that world, Hollywood, but... But then was it an open open secret in the television world with Hugh Edwards? That's a that's a question, you know. That's the, as I suppose you could call the million dollar question. You know, has a lot of more stuff been going on with Hugh Edwards? You know, there could be stuff out there, allegations when it comes back to the nineties, nineteen nineties, the noise. Some might even find that out some one or two from the late eighties. Who knows? But he he seems to be though. It's the heat on Edwards isn't like the heat on Philip Schofield. Um, I mean, it's not quite the same. I mean, there was potential grooming allegations there with Schofield, and maybe no, who, who knows? We might hear a bit more about that um, soon. But I don't know though. I mean, I mean, I still feel there might still be a few more allegations in some you stories to come with this with Hugh Edwards. I don't think it's going to go away just yet. But who knows though? With, with all the stuff with Dan Wooten though. And that's something I'm going to get into probably probably tomorrow. Um, that might take away the focus off this, the, the the big story with the, all the you know the the Hugh Edwards scandal. Um, but look, yeah, overall those are my thoughts on all that, guys. Let me know what you think. Comment. Let me let me know. Give me your take. Let me know if you think of, of people in the industry. You, if they, you, they, like everybody, almost everybody, you. That some what he was really like, Hugh Edwards. G- give me your take. Uh, l- l- leave me a comment. You know, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and. Yeah, cool. So that's me, guys. Take care.